What's up everybody? Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel, and I'm looking a little frustrated because this is just going... I just did a video, literally, about Tyreek, 30 seconds ago, and I didn't look at the title of my next story until just now, but a mother selling a PlayStation gets robbed and murdered for a PlayStation. Let that sink in for a minute. A mother, someone's mom, selling a fucking PlayStation gets murdered for the PlayStation. This is extremely frustrating and distressing news because I remember I left my house in Ohio and I had my wife sell my Xbox 360. I wasn't at home, I was at work and she was calling me saying the guy was on his way and she wanted to know if one of her family members could come over but nobody came over in time. Thank God the guy didn't do anything but there's some evil and foolish ass people out there. I'll drop a link in the description. A woman trying to sell a PlayStation gaming console on Monday was shot and killed at her Fort Worth apartment complex while meeting a potential buyer with her son and husband. With her? Dallas Morning News reports that Rosa Garcia, 37, same age as me, mother of five children and two grandchildren, damn, uh, grandchildren already? was supposed to meet a man who claimed he wanted to buy the PlayStation she was selling. Garcia, along with her husband, and son waited for the man at their Somerset apartment complex off of Brian Circle Way a little before 10.30 p.m. You don't sell no fucking PlayStation at 10.30 p.m. Jeez, I mean, this is a horrible situation, but common sense. Garcia was attempting to complete the transaction that started online earlier when the man began shooting her. It, it's like that? No questions? Just, you got the console? Sure. Boom, boom, boom. Insane. Police arrived and found Garcia lying in the apartment complex parking lot, bleeding profusely. She is rushed to a local hospital when she is pronounced dead. God damn it. This fool, oh, they need to just give him to her husband. That would be a good enough penalty. I think when things like this happen, if someone killed my wife, I would plead with the judge to give them to me. Instead of having people pay money, you know, pay our taxes to keep them, you know, in jail until their death penalty date. Give them to me until you want to kill them. And then by the time you get them back, they weigh 80 pounds. They'd be nothing but skeleton. They'd have no teeth left, no fingernails, no genitals, and very little skin. I'd probably make them, I'd make them want to commit suicide with paper cuts. I'm so serious on things like that. Tysa Crabtree, a resident of the apartment complex, said she heard exactly 10 gunshots. God damn. She said she saw the suspect fall the suspect fall down and get back up and start shooting again. When a few of the bullets um with a few of the bullets going into the walls of the complex. So this guy didn't get enough shots off for this woman. You're shooting a woman, man. Dude, it's a female. You're shooting a mother. Numerous times over a PlayStation. I hope they get you. Oh my god. This is the quote. She said, quote, we heard exactly 10 gunshots. I was counting. She was in there counting. As soon as uh, he shot her, he fell. Actually, then he stood back up and was shooting everywhere. And that's how it went into the wall, end quote. Witnesses said that the suspect continued to shoot as he fled the scene on foot. Some residents hid the, in their cars to avoid the bullets. The husband and, and son were uninjured, but they remained at the scene crying until authorities arrived. As of Thursday morning, the suspect is still at large. Fort Worth detectives are currently investigating. God damn. Well, we know you'll easily be able to find out who this guy is. Either he's going to kill himself or turn himself in. There's a, a good paper trail. Well, theoretical paper. You know, it was a Facebook thing. They met on Facebook, so that's easy to track. It's all in her messages. He can delete his, but it'll stay on hers. So more than likely, they're going to have this guy in a matter of hours. It's just... Um, it's a frustrating situation when things like that happen to good people. You're just trying... She's with her family. It's a family thing. Why the hell was she doing it and not the husband? Why would you let your wife do that and not you? You know, you think I'm going to pull up in a car with my 105-pound wife while my 270-pound ass sits in the passenger seat and lets her deal with that? Are you out of your damn mind? I would have gladly taken them shots to protect my wife and my children. Now you get to live the rest of your life being a pussy. And that's really what it is. You st stood by and watched as someone shot your wife. I'm sorry, someone's shooting my wife. I'm going to run in front of her and try to take as many of those bullets as I can. Sorry. What's life if you don't have somebody worth living for? Or dying for? God damn. 
I don't know the exact situation. Maybe I'm being hypercritical of the dad there. Maybe he was protecting the kid. Who knows? But it's a frustrating situation, and I hope they catch this asshole. Rest in peace, Rosa Garcia, 37. You guys be careful out there dealing with these assholes. You know, I feel like at this point, we got to do credit checks, check social security numbers, find out where your grandma lives and where Twan at, just be before we meet you to, to sell you something, because these mugs out here killing people for PlayStations. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. It's an unfortunate situation. There's probably not much to be said, but, you know, it, it is a very, very sad situation for this family. I really feel for them. Mother, same age as me, selling a PlayStation, which I've done before, loses her life for no damn reason. Shot multiple times. I'm the Beastly Gamer. See you guys next time.